Welcome back, Mangler Three. I'm here. We're going to continue with another Eden. Um, let's see. We're going to go with another Eden. It sounds like the game already started. Um, we're live on Twitch. If you want to join the chat, um, I'm going to switch over to the game now. All right. If you were here last week, we beat a uh, big boss here. Um, we're on chapter, I think, 33 right now. Um, it's We're ending up in a museum. We've got this uh, character who's sort of a interesting character from the present, and his museum from the past, he's trying to help it out. So he's constantly going back and forth, or sending us back and forth in time to sort of fix his museum. Looks like there's a chest here. 120 or 1.2 million, I don't know, a lot. And then there's a little crystal. Oh, a secret key. So we needed a secret key and we got it. All right, we're in the library. Where did that key supposed to lead to? I don't remember. Let's look in this and see if they tell us real quick. One of the advantages of playing once a week, you can't always remember where you're at. Um, oh, 37. Museum's open in its storehouse. So this is the museum that disappeared and we were trying to bring it back so we can get something, um, a special type of key. Oh, ogre key is actually what we were looking for, but we also got a, a secret key. In its storehouse, there's a key capable of breaking the barrier, but this happy discovery is interrupted by arrival of a pair of superhumans. Just exploring. All right, we've already got that. Surprised no monsters have attacked me. Just as I say that. A monster in a portrait. All right, level up. Our healer's leveled up. Let's use the 
benefits of that. Looks like her abilities are pretty close to all level up, except for this skill up. Oh, we need two for that. All of these, let's say, wait for the skill and then we'll worry about that. I wonder if I have to go back into the city or the town. I'll check the map. It says, oh, it wants me to go back to Elzion. So apparently I was in Nilva, I need to go back to Elzion. Love the little blinky exclamation point. Let's heal, or let's get some food, because we're out of food. There you are, bon appetit. Esta style roast beef. For what it's worth. Usually, they usually want you to go to Theta, the other half of the city. That was correct. And then up to this person's house. Research library or Sebastian's house? I think Sebastian's usually the target. Right? Yep. I see. Thanks for the update. Just give me a second, okay? Hey, Amy. If you don't want to talk about it, I'll understand, but could you let me know about you and those guys back there? Miley and I were inseparable when we were kids. She was my best friend. She was kind of a scaredy cat. I was always rushing in to rescue her from some kind of trouble. Some of my best memories are of our time together. She was like a princess and I was her Kanigan. Mildly moved to a different district to go to an elite high school. Today's the first time I've seen her in years. I never expected our reunion to be like that. Just what am I going to do? Eh, just kidding. I'm fine, honestly. Knowing those two, I'm sure they have some kind of plan up their sleeves. Amy. Done. Are you bored without me? Well, I've managed to track those two down. They're hiding out in Toto Dreamland, the amusement park in the suburbs. The park may not be open anymore, but the old theater there is a perfect place for a shady hideout. Although it looks like the entrance has been closed off. Thanks, Sebastian. We owe you one. That should be enough for us to work off for now. You're welcome. Getting you guys out of trouble keeps me on my toes. Keep bringing me interesting problems. I'll keep giving you ingenious solutions. You ready, Amy? You look sad. Amy, are you sure you're okay? What? Me? Yeah, okay. Of course. You really don't need to worry about me, honest. Okay, if you say so. I got your back. Now let's go see Synth Hydra about getting us to Total Dreamland. Search for the ogre key. So we got it before, but then we had a fight. And they took it away from us. So we have to go back for it again. We completed chapter 37. The hydra is over here in the rift brick. This is the hydra right here. 
He works for us now. He takes us back and forth in time. I've been updated on the situation. Are you going to the Toto Dreamland? Let me know and I'll chart a course. Alright, 1180 is like the present time. Actually, no. I can't remember if it's present or not, but we'll go there. Very well. We will depart at once. Next stop, Toto Dreamland in the year 1180. Approaching Toto Dreamland now. However, there isn't anywhere large enough for me to land. How about the castle there? We could land next to it. There's a castle? Wait, what? How did we end up here, in this era? Wait, is that the haunted chateau? <clears throat> chateau? I guess that means castle in some foreign tongue? French? Yeah, this is one of the theme park's attractions. It's an exact replica of a historical castle. Alright. Seems as good a place as any. Set us down, please, Hydra. Understood. Initiating landing preparations. Whoa, I can hardly tell this apart from the Miglins castle of the present. And this was an attraction? Some people find being scared fun for some reason. But you know this place isn't really haunted, right? Underate a perfect... Underate. Perfect place for spirits to cavort in the shadows. Berg, why do we have to go there through here? Markers abound in this place. One could leap upon us at any moment. Let's be careful, guy friends. Now travel to Haunted Chateau. Okay, I went into the cabin and there's a monster immediately. I can talk to them. I know how hard you've been working. Use this pod for all your rejuvenation needs. Take a break. No. Okay. Click an in. That's so weird. It's like I totally escorted into another world. I think it accidentally escorted me out of the haunted chateau. Let's see if we can find a place back there. Yeah, it did. It took me to the other place. I accidentally went up and it took me to a totally different world. Wow. Interesting bug. Alright. Royal Room. Going out the window. On a Chateau Terrace. Oh, we came from the window. Anyway. Aha! On a Chateau Throne. This looks very much like Miglin's Castle, except there's nothing hiding under here. We don't think you're a fox or a bear or something. Another one. Fourth floor east corridor. Okay. Nothing to fight. Looks like there's a, the background is actually just a picture. See how it's flickering like that? Wow. 
clown ball. I do look like clowns, kind of. Let's see if I can beat these guys. Looks like yes. Powder and torch. Ooh, a whole screen shift. Oh, that's creepy. It's crawling out of the picture. Ooh, that was a, that was a big boss. Should we fight them? I kind of wanted just to see. Portrait of Terror. These people that all can't move, only this person can. Physical resistance up, okay, we'll do that. Low class scroll, okay. Your job is done, kid. Still have Amy here. Warped frame. And extra points towards new people. Oh yeah, speaking of that. We've got dreams. I think we got points. See, we're over a thousand. Let's grab these records, awards that we just got. Might be able to get two. Yeah. Dreams, we can grab two. And one from here. So this is a lone encounter. We just got one of these tickets. Let's go for this one. Part of gotchas, they give you new characters. That was one, that was just Corvo. That's it. Disappointment, okay. Let's see what else we got. We got fourth anniversary. Encounter, Encounter Melissa. I think we already have her, but we'll go for that one. Here we go, we can go for Iffy or Ippy, I don't know, or Ippi, I don't know how to pronounce that. Ify. Reencounter Ava. Oh, she's back. I don't think we got her last time. Let's try this one first. Nero again. Devet again. Seven again. Interesting way of spelling seven. Nixa. A king. Devet again. Rodea. The vet again for a third time. Mayu again. Ooh, here's a four star coming up. And it's Benedict. But a new version of Benedict. Class change to so now Warrior. 
That was lame. Should we use our other one on Fireside Cat? We gotta try it. Good luck with this one last time we got a 5 star out of it. Started out with a 4 star. Oh, 5 star! Mist Rare! 5 star Isaiah. Cool. Three star CL. Passia or Passia. Soria again or Sora. Soira. Manesia. Four star Rovella. Now Sniper. Four. Mew again. Lele or Lala. Another four star Akane. That's a popular one. Okay. Mist Rare, 5 star. We get to... Cool. Okay, back to looking for the heat. Let's look in here, door's locked. I have a secret key. Here's a mirror. You heard a door unlocked in the vicinity. Sorry, that door. Oh, look in the mirror. That was weird. The person in the mirror stayed there. And this door was in a lot. That looks like a uh, reindeer with a with a uh, crown. I wonder if that's a way of saying this is a beast world. To show beasts as being in charge. Instead of people. Chateau Clown. Third floor, we're going down. Ooh, there's a eyeball. That's a little bit of a rocky picture. There's a rock right here. And he's gonna crack. Oh, this one's resisting. Okay, so these knigets are resisting stuff. Here, don't resist fire though. Or this one, which is crystal attack. We'll just go for that. Old Castle Helm. Oh, the eyeballs are following me. Did you see that? They moved. That was creepy. Watch that eyeball. And that one. Everything is all 
Another door is locked. No mirror to step on. Oh, there's one right there. Ah. It was a trick. I wanted you to think that's all it was. It's not so scary. You clicked your face. Not unlock the door. Maybe this door is what it unlocked. Auto saving. Okay, so there's something going on in here. There's like something on the bed right there. That clown looks like it's going to come after me if I. Other door just unlocked. Oh, did not move. Oh, is that a tiny thing? Nope. Okay, so we were going down, and apparently now we go back up. Back to the fourth floor, but now in the west corridor. More ghosts. Let's fight this guy. Same difficulties last time, so I think we can take him. Oh, everybody's just doing random attacks. I see. attack does a lot. I mean, her healing. Getting stronger. I hope she can't do fair trial. It's a worked frame. Another one. Probably be needed for something like a new weapon or something. That one's not following me. We have visitors. That ghost is following me. That broke through the window and stopped me. But it's just a ghost. Nothing wrong with that. That's good defense against one of them. Is it you? No. You? No. Now I'll go out the window. Old castle torch. Wall is crumbling away here. Huh? 
chat went through. Cat found a chest. Old castle armor. Meow meow. Dude, there's no monsters in here. The cat would be toast. All right, back down to the third floor. Okay, I guess you could just always be on the bench. All right, level up for Amy. Intelligence, luck. Luck for now. Chateau, can you get... Oh yeah, I have to switch up the attacks here. Wow, I should try that door. Alright, can I get we need to get you? Door's locked. False alarm. Door is broken, won't budge. There's a little gap here for a cat to squeeze through. Only you. Cat to the rescue. Oh, that looks like a monster. I'm gonna wake up any second now. Hmm, step on that, unlock that door. He's like, I don't weigh enough. Oh, there we go. Super cat. You saved me. Thank you. Thank you. Clown dagger. North corridor. Okay, so we're out of east and west. Now we're going to north. Okay, there's a rock we probably have to break somehow. Of 
course the door is locked. Ooh, here's let's step on that. They're gonna wake up, I can just tell. Something move far away. And unlock the other door is probably unlocked. Alright, kid leveled up. What were we saving for? Now you got two leveled up. Oh, we just missed you last time. Alright, we got speed or spirit and speed, speed and endurance, speed and endurance. I think 10 10. Well, let's go this way. Yeah, we chose, we went out of our way for a lot. Scarlet Mantle. That was it. Okay, down even more. I'm gonna crack in the wall. That's the other side of that rock thing that we backstage. Ooh, paper. Inspection memo. I think it's not something we're supposed to read. I think it's just a Old castle torch and another crack in the wall. Now we're up on the terrace. Just somehow not on the top floor, just on the side floor. Okay, before I go down, there was another area where they said something was moving. I think that was like over here. I'm going to go all the way back and see if I find anything new or... Like Zelda, you gotta crush every pot. One that said something move. Unless 
must have already gotten the reward of the... Okay, we'll go down. Second floor. No north, south, east, west, just second floor. Must be a short Short stop. Door is locked. Hold you. Another crack in the wall for the kitty. Go for it, kitty. Find the item. Step on every button. The door unlocked outside the room. marked something over there, so that must be the final boss or the final target of the series. There we go. Unlock door. Nobody in the windows. Nothing like yeah, background looks like a space. Pretending you're up in the sky. And down to the first floor. There we go. We're fairly close to the exit now. Mes amis. Great. It's a relief we didn't fall victim to any of the chateau's unfriendly inhabitants. Yes, that'd be horrible fate for our Amy. Huh? Why me in particular? Come on, it's obvious this hasn't been an easy ride for you. The architects of this attraction would be proud to learn that it has had its intended effect, and on a young adult, no less. I'd say this this place must rival even the ghost castle of Eastern Lord. Oh, that sounds interesting. You must know lots of ghost stories I haven't heard before. Oh, all sorts of tall tales that are told in the East, but the reality is often kinder. Take myself, for instance. An author of an audience might take the liberty of writing me up as a, some sort of rabid human-frog hybrid freak. That doesn't sound entirely inaccurate. I would share some of the Beast Folk's ghost stories if I thought this audience could handle them. Even my peaceful hometown Baroque has a ghost story about pleading voices coming from a well. Okay, enough on this subject. Aldo, I think I just heard something move over there. Amy's current heart rate trajectory suggests the strong possibility of an imminent scream. <laughs> Come on, that's just patronizing. She's been through her, her share of battles. We know her nerves are made of stern stuff. 
Ooh, black smoke. I've had enough of this place. Can we hurry up and get out, please? Come on, everyone. I don't see anyone. Think you can scare me like that, do you? Not a chance. Paris doesn't look good. Just like Helena said, I'm all alone. Mm, Amy by herself. Oh boy. She's not that strong. I'm glad I'm sort of leveling her up. But we're here. I have to run from every battle. Old castle armor. Let me make sure she's got a weapon. Oh, I can't even. That means I'm probably not going to end up with Okay, I could go upstairs. They want me to go over here. Look at that picture. It's... It feels like something might leap out at me from one of the paintings. I'm really on edge. Huh? Maybe it was nothing after all. Now where has everyone got to? Poster changed. I could go upstairs. Because they're telling me to go down here it makes me want to go upstairs. Old castle. It's an eyeball on a chair. That is creepy. Okay, so I couldn't go. Oh. Arg! I'm not a little girl anymore. I can't go getting scared by something like this. To be fair enough. To be fair though, pretty much anyone would have been startled by that. Look at the shadow, it moved over here. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, Uncle Irby. How you doing? Okay, just gotta regroup with the others. And fast, or I'm gonna end up traumatized. Alright, I'm gonna go up the other way, see if I can go upstairs. I'm just curious what's up there. Helena said we were near the exit. Just gotta be brave a little longer. Alright, can't go upstairs. Ooh, look at that. Sure, oh, that didn't Fantasticals, my dude. That's good to hear. It's Friday, anyway. This is just the worst. Gloomy, damp. I have the distinct feeling I'm being watched. At this place it brings back memories. I used to come here a lot back when I was a kid. I ought to be used to it by now. At one time, Mildy and I got lost in this place. She was even more scared than me. By the time we got out, we were both blubbering messes. It felt like that night would last forever. Like we were never going to see our families again. But then that android king showed up and guided us to the exit. Mildly. Actually, it's not mildly. Mildy. Mildy. What? Amy, there you are. You know what that crash was? Hey everyone! Where'd you get to? How could you leave me alone like that? Hold on, it was you who ran off after being startled by some slight noise. 
All right, happy reunion concluded. Now we've got that unexplained racket to demystify somehow. Well, yeah. It came from this direction, I think. Major trial awaits you beyond this point for a seat. I can say no if I'm going to use my food and switch my team real quick. Food. Use. Beef stock has been condensed to intensify the flavor. <laughs> Bring our thief back. Alright, now we're ready. Bring it on. Uh oh. Wait, I remember this thing. Kirk, check. Whiz. Welcome to my castle. You will never leave this place alive. Watch out, there's something strange about the way it's moving. It's gonna attack. Okay, these are the chateau wizards that are hard to attack, so I'm gonna use that. Resist is against fire, so don't do that. Resist against darkness, so don't do that. Although you have no purpose, so let's get you out. Can't resist against steel. I can purify. Let's steal and purify. Let's purify this. All right, we got a prayer script. We can do another forge. Actually, to purify to help fix all these messed up stuff. Can heal again, sure. Exploding fireworks. It's getting Chinese on us. All right, now we can switch. Actually, no, I'm not going to switch. We can just uh, improve the crit rate. There we go. And your attack. You'll focus on the main guy. Nice. Oil leak. I fixed that last weekend, actually. Fix the oil leak. Okay, regular attacks work now. Yeah, we got him. Got the strong attacks out of him and bam, knocked him out. That android used to play one of the ghosts here. He showed up and saved me and Mildy once we when we got lost. So it kinda hurts to have to see him in that state. Come on, cheer up, Amy. We're almost at the exit. I know. It's no time for a sulk. We gotta get that ogre key back. This way to the exit, right? Let's get a move on. Chapter 38 is complete. I wonder how many chapters in this game. I'm guessing more than 50. It's a lot. Most games have like 8, at least Mario type games.
What's up with this place? It looks like a courtyard. The park shut over nine years ago due to financial difficulties. It was abandoned after its closure. What a shame. I can just imagine people milling around and having fun here. And now it's ripe for being commandeered by an organization in search of secrecy. The synth humans often make use of such locations. The industrial city ruins are a case in point. There certainly are plenty of hiding spots here, and I dare say some of them have occupants. We must root them all out, and for Altena, we must retrieve the Ogre Key, and quickly. Sebastian believes that Mildy and Cloghorn are holed up in the old theater. To the theater, then. Alright. Yes, it's connected to here. It said now I can get here on the web now. Keep expanding the places we can go back to. So many places in this game. Crazy go around. There's a, a horse with blinky eyes. Caressy Toto. Crazy go around. Photo Dreamland ex Excitement Area? Game audio sounds weird. I agree, it does sound weird. It's like weird background, like mystical something or other. Let me see if I can uh, fix the audio. They did, they did an update on OBS and it totally changed some stuff. Let me see if this changed anything. It still doesn't make any noise, does it? Wonder if I change or reconnected the video. No, not the video. You can hear me. Uh, we want the screen properties. This obviously, but I don't, I don't like that method. Still doesn't seem to be working. Whatever they did in the new update, 
I had to change so many settings just to get this to work, but I didn't get the audio working apparently. Aha, okay, so speakers. How about that? Apply. Okay, there we go. I'll bet you this works better. I don't know why it changed settings and now it wasn't spitting audio out in the right place. It's probably still too quiet though. I'm gonna see if I can turn that up a little bit. Do, 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 do. All right, I turned it way up. Let's see if it's loud enough now. Still doesn't look like it sounds much, does it? It's funny how every time they make a new update or anything, you have to redo all your settings and then cross your fingers. And hope it actually works out. Leave no one left alive. Amy's leveled up again. You go any of these routes. Spirit for magic defense. I'll expose their sins. Toto Dreamland West Park. I used to come here all the time, usually with Mildy. To think it was just a few years ago, years it was reduced, in just a few years it was reduced to ruins. Who would have believed it? Mildy, you said you were friends with her. What was she like? Mildy was a bit spoiled, a bit of a crybaby even. But she had a wisdom that others didn't. She'd always be the one to suggest an idea or start a new project. But a lot of the time, things didn't work out for her. She'd cry. But even then, wouldn't give up. She had a stubborn side, so I often worried about her. And so I decided I had to protect her, to be her Knigget. Chairs knocked over, tables knocked over. Toto Dreamland Bazaar Square. And this other chap, Boghorn, was it? Plughorn. Right, right. Sludgehorn. Can we expect much of a fight from him? Well, he'd be a pretty average human without those powers. I don't really know what he's capable of. And what attracted you to him, might I ask? Game audio is louder than my voice. Oh, so I over... I overdid it a tad. <laughs> I did turn it way up.
doesn't show it as being louder, but I'm glad you told me because otherwise I would have no idea. Well, looking back, he was a smart guy, but way too cold. I didn't have a good impression of him at all. But now and then he'd do or say something sort of cool. Eventually I noticed, though, only with Mildy would he ever ease the frown he always wore on his face and smile a little. So I gave up. I'm no match for Mildy. Cute as a doll, kind and smart to boot. They were like two peas in a pod, always talking about some difficult issue or other. Amy. What are you getting all emotional for? Don't get the wrong idea. It's nothing to me now. It's just, what about your old friends? Getting sucked into some phony relationship and throwing their lives away. So our quest for the key doubles up as a sort of rescue mission, one might say. Guess so. Well, let's get moving. Travel to the main gate. I'm just wandering. Apparently, I'm going the right Kill direction. All. East Park, don't want to fight that horsey. I'll expose their sins. I also turn this down. Yet another setting. This mark looks familiar. Nothing happens when you touch it. That's a picture. Ah, the trial is over. Yay, parasitic mucus. Mm. Fantasy area. Okay, I see a green dot on the map. Look at that. We made it. Ah, this is the final ride we went on together that day. That day? Well, yeah. The two of them had, had to go off to this elite school, and staying in the Gamma District wasn't practical. So before the two of them moved, they came here to have a farewell party. So, were you lonely after they left? I'd be lying if I said no, but, I mean, I wasn't going to bait them to stay, or chase after them. I had my own dream to become a hunter, and I'd quit school before them to start training up. They never said a word in opposition to that. But of course, Cloghorn had plenty of dead serious life advice to offer me. Yeah. I was happy for the two of them, but more than anything, I hated the idea of being a hindrance to them. Mildy, well, she had complete trust in Cluckhorn, and to be honest, I trusted him as well. So in the end, it was him that became her Kniggit, not me. Right. That's enough sentimentality for one afternoon. We're wasting time here. 
Yeah, you're right. You won't see me going easy if we end up fighting them. Especially if it turns out Cloghorn's been misleading Mildy. You could show a bit more sensitivity, you know, Gildna. Although I think he's got a point, and Amy can handle it. Well, if you say so. Leave no one left alive. <laughs> eh, not even worth mentioning. Central Theater. All right, we're going the right way. This is the main location we were heading to, the theater. Kill them all. Rusty joints. We have visitors. And so the world turns. Much like life. Kill them all. Crazy go round. Major trial, okay. Proceed, no, let's check our health real quick. How's our party? Pretty full, I don't think we need food. Let's do it. Mildy! Clockhorn! Look, it's the ogre key. Amy, you did well to make it this far. Why did you follow us? I told you to stay out of this. We can't give up on that ogre key. We really need it. We need it to stop history from being changed and totally messing everything up. Changing history? Good grief, what have you got yourself involved in this time? It's complicated, alright. I don't have time to tell you the full story right now. Please, Mildy, just give me the key. I don't want to have to fight you. Maybe I didn't make myself clear. I'm not letting go of this key for anyone. Not even you, Amy. Our compatriots have high hopes of unlocking the secrets of the artifact, this artifact, and moving our cause forward. Compatriots? Who are these people? Hee <laughs> Being here brings back so many memories. We played here all the time when we were little. I'm sure you still remember, don't you, Amy? Of course I remember. Those days were so much fun, even the hard times weren't so bad. We didn't have to worry about the future. I always thought things would continue like that forever, that every day would be a new adventure. Hmm. Well, those days had to end eventually. The world changes, people change. We had to grow up sometime. Everything moves on sooner or later. Just like this park, it's all rust and decay. 
given enough time. No, Meldy. There are some things that will never change, no matter how much time passes. Oh, Amy, you are always a head-in-the-clouds head dreamer. It's sad, really. You see, we have changed. We neo-humans are the next link in the evolutionary chain. Our minds have been op opened to the truth now. There is no going back. All that remains is for us to gather enough power and evolve a step further. Soon we shall be gods. Clockhorn, you're still just a human. No amount of new age garbage about transcendence will change that. I pity you, Amy. Stumbling around blind like a babe in the woods. I didn't want to fight you either, old friend. But if you insist on standing in our way, so be it. This seems like the perfect opportunity to test how the key energies will affect us. Mildy, now! Whoa. What the? This is our id, a manifestation of our psychic abilities. Our old humanity is obsolete. We are the future. Rumble in the face of our might. Psychic abilities, id. What a load of tr tiresome mumbo jumbo. And we're obsolete, you think? We'll see about that. I wonder if you'll still stay here, sit, or still say that after we beat you. When you new humans, gods, or whatever you say you are, are shown to be no stronger than us mere humans. Psychic ego. Alright, steal. What is that? Losses. Rubble. That was gone quick. I see it. It seems you're getting used to it. The power of that key is greater than I expected. Our supernatural powers unleash the psychic ego. Psychic, huh? Calamity Saxon. We're being pushed by some ancient women? That's convenient, Cluckhorn. We really appreciate it, Amy. We're the psychic ego. Know our spirits? have touched some kind of uh, some unknown power and caused this kind of meta reactive existence. I see now. The more we touch this power, the stronger our union becomes. We can't stop the evolution of the psychic ego. That's right. We have to continue the, down this path. We must reach our potential. Pull yourself together. <laughs> Let me try fortune, I'll bet that'll eliminate them once and for all. Die. Pull your Another calamity Saxon. I think this will be final hit. I didn't think it possible for you to defeat our id. Indeed, I yield this round to you. You may take the ogre key. Clockhorn. Unfortunately, we must return to our compatriots empty-handed, thanks to you. However, 
Don't go thinking this is over. We, the Chrono Clan, will be the ones to guide this planet's future. Th that is our destiny. Chrono Clan, the planet's future. Yes, indeed. Our glorious leader will change the world. Someday all of you will understand. Baby, I still care about you. A lot. You're my best friend in the world, so don't forget me. Best friend in the world still? Even though you keep fighting me? And messing me up? How confusing is that? Well, Mildy, you know, I feel exactly the same. Which is why I won't let you be led astray by some shady revolutionary group. One day the three of us will reunite and live happily together, just like the good old days. Amy, are you sure you're alright? Don't worry about me, Aldo. You may be scared of ghosts, but I can handle this. Now more importantly... Put that in your pocket. You've got the ogre key, all right. We've got the key. Now let's get back to Sebastius. Okay, we can go back and explore. I think we should just go back to Sebastius. There's not a whole lot of good stuff. In here. Sebastius lab, we can skip to it. There was a way to skip them. Why are they taking this here? Well, let's... Should we heal and get some food? You never know when somebody might pop up. If nothing else, our magic will be full. More steals. Here you are, bon appetit! That's the style of roast beef. Yum yum yum. Sebastian's house or the research lab? call themselves the Chrono Clan, things are getting interesting. I wonder what their ultimate goals are. I know how much Mildy meant to you, Amy. Fighting her must have been tough. Yeah, it all happened so fast. I guess I'm still kind of in shock. I feel like my memories of when she and I were still friends have been tainted. Um, does everyone have that kind of childhood memories? Ones that seem... Idyllic when we look back when looked back on. I uh I never had any friends, so I don't really get this kind of thing. What are you talking about, Sebastian? You're friends with Amy, aren't you? At least that's how it seems to me. How can we say we're not friends, Sebastian? I think of you as one of my very best friends. The time I've spent with you is just as precious to me as any of my other happy memories. Amy, that's... All of us here are indebted to you for helping us retrieve the key. If we can ever do anything for you in return, let us know. Alright, I will. Back to Miglin's castle, then. We should finally be able to break the barrier around Ogre's Spike. Right. Next stop, Unigan. Valor chant level three. What does that mean? Amy came to terms with her past. New class unlocked.
chapter 39 complete. New class for her. She has a she has a five star class. Now she needs Brawler Psalms. Where do we get those? Is that from that blue door? Everything else comes from there. I bet we can buy a Brawler Psalm. Let's find out. You have a brawler song. There it is, Psalms. Brawler song. Complete. Awesome. Alright, Ogre Spike time. Let's also check out Amy's. Let's see if we can upgrade her. Oh, I have to talk to that old lady now. Where's that old lady at? He's in the space area, right? You need 10 of those psalms? Oh. I can't afford 10. I'm not going to go spend all my money on getting the rest of them because I can't quite get all of them yet. So You're going to have to wait, Amy. We got those from doing blue door things, so we could just go through blue doors after blue doors. And these things give out little gem thingies when you're done with them, so. That is a side plan. Probably not while I'm online, though, because they take a while and they're not most exciting dungeons. These are like another dungeon things. Okay, going back to Ogre Spike. Wah, 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 wah. Don't think that's it. It's right. What great tidings! You found a way to breach the fortress barrier. Good work, Aldo. You now you can unleash a head-on assault to those wretched ogres. That's right. I think the ogre key might be the only thing capable of breaking that barrier. With that being said, Vares, how fair is the sharpening of the king's holy blades? All should be ready for your highness's use once more. Allow me to go check on the progress. Wait, Vares. Why are you here? I couldn't merely sit by fruitlessly as the day of reckoning comes for the wretched ogre clan. Although I was very close to being string stringed up by Miglins' guards when they mistook me for a remnant of, my, of the beast army. I do believe that they were not, in fact... Mistaken? Are you not exactly that? Cyrus, let us leave this discussion for another time. 
It could get complicated, ne sais pas. Regardless, it gladdens me that to see his majesty, I mean Master Gildna in such good health. I am thankful that this mis the misunderstanding has resolved. I would have been deeply saddened if any harm were to come have come to your friend. And such an interesting friend at that. It warms my hearth, I think they mean heart, that even in grave times like these, there is still joy to be had. You are too kind, your majesty. It was an honor to be granted an audience with you. Vers, did the Thunder King just say something about sharpening the holy blades? You better not be planning anything sneaky. But of course not. I was merely following the advice of a certain wise individual. I will go retrieve them immediately. Well, with that matter out of the way, I will venture outside to take in some fresh air. My lord? Ah, Aldo, is that you? It is, uh, it is you. My thanks again for retrieving the ogre key. Don't mention it. We have to rescue our friend from the ogres as well. It won't be long until we'll have to go out and face them. Verily, it has been many harsh years of fierce war. We must, for the sake of all, seek culmination in this approaching battle. Good luck out there. We'll do everything we can, we can too. Do not endanger yourself unduly. I also wonder what will become of that blade of yours. It is possible of that upon entering the fortress it will resonate with the ogres, bringing forth as yet unseen powers. Aldo, you remind me of my son. About the same age and, well, looking upon you brings back memories of him. I didn't know you had a son. You at the battle? Or will he be joining you at the battle? He will not, as much as I may want it. I see. It must be tough being parted from your family. It is. But before long, I will be reunited once more with them, my son and wife. Just one last push, one last battle, and I will soon be with them again. Aldo, there is no inherent meaning in the lives of humans born into this world. They themselves must find meaning in the existence that has been bestowed upon them. Whether our lives hold worth or not, we must be our own judges. It is not decided by others, not nor by an almighty creator. Only you may deem your life to be of value. I want you to remember this. Your Majesty, okay, I'll do my best to live by your word. Thunder King, Aldo, here you are. I have been looking for you. Uh, it seems preparations are complete. Forge work of the two swords is now complete. I have brought them with me. My then, what in the... You're from the Gallery of Dreams. Oh yes, I never mentioned, did I? The individual who suggested the sharpening was none other than this man. Come, <clears throat> young beast. Bring the two blades here. Right away. My kings, wield once more your swords. Now go, king of the land separated by time. You too, Aldo. 
The final note of the Geyer melody will be played at Ogre's Spike. Whoa, and then he disappeared. Final note of the Geyer melody. He was certainly an odd individual, but he has done fine work with the Holy Blade. The time of culmination is upon us. Let us cleanse the world of the wretched ogres once and for all. Send orders to the Knigets to the ancient battlefield. I was asked by King Meglinth to escort you. Will you be leaving for the ancient battlefield? Yes. Very well, let us go there at once. Xenon Ogre, on this day I shall at last bring an end to this long conflict. Hey, ain't this the same Ogre Clan that got wiped out 3,000 years ago? Don't that mean that we win? It's already history and all that. So we can't go wrong. Can't be sure there. Fact is, they've traveled through time and what have you. Who's to say history ain't changed as well? We ain't gonna find out who wins till the fight's all over. All I know is, if you don't want to die, you better fight for your life. The peace and well-being of the people is at stake here. Defeat is not an option. For the glory of the crown. So the day, time of reckoning has finally arrived. This should be amusing. Poor little lost ovary wolveries. Let's help him get back home. Just you wait, you rotten ogres. Today's the day that we get payback for all the good men you've killed. That's right, we're gonna wipe every last one of them out. Let's smash them back to... In this era, they say that our Thunder King vanquished Zen and Ogre in a glorious battle. If that's so, we must cut a path through those filthy... Filthy creature straight to Xenon Ogre. Hold on, Altana. I will crush all ogres that stand in my way until I have you back safe again. Altana, just hold out a little longer, okay? We're coming to get you. Everything is in place. I believe it is time to knock on the ogre's door. Verily. Everyone, take a step back. Whoa, what's happening to the ground? We did it! The barrier's down! Siege Vanguard! Advance on the fortress! All out attack! Hoorah! Our 
fate lies in this last stand. Now fight, fight to the last tooth and nail. Hoorah! Behind us are the siege towers. They're like small movable towers. We can break into that spike now. The time has finally come. With the light of the Thunder King's holy sword to guide us, we shall see to it that every ogre is slain, no matter the cost. I do not know how many comrades and how many innocents we've lost to, the, to these monsters. Now we shall avenge those who have fallen. Thunder King and Prince Alf Alfaldo are as one, and so are we. The Holy Blade of the Palsifal will lead us to certain victory. Fear not death, yearn for honor. We don't know the, when those wretches, wretched ogres will try and destroy the siege towers. We'll stay here to guard them. You go on ahead without us. Blasted ogres, just you wait. There won't be a single one of you left to lumber about once we're done with you. This spike shall be your grave. Oh, it's you. If things turn for the worst, please protect King Miglins. If we Miglins Knigets join together with the Thunderlion soldiers, the ogres will be nothing to fear. But, as I'm sure you know, there's no such thing as certainty in battle. We don't know anything about what's inside the spike. Please be careful and don't do anything rash. Do you understand? Search for a chink in their defense and get the siege towers onto them. These reports are that we have found three separate points to breach, straight on and on both flanks. Very good. We shall commence a simultaneous three-pronged attack. My Knigets will break into two vanguards. One group will take the fortress head-on with me, the rest on the left flank. Yes, my liege. I'll let your orders be known right away. Get the Thunderlion soldiers to do the same. One vanguard with me and the other to break the right flank. Watch yourselves out there. Understood. Just don't go defeating the enemy single-handed again. Please leave some for the rest of us. Okay, we'll take the front as well. Thunder King, King Miglins, we're with you all the way. Okay, let's do this. Fasten your helmets, tighten your armor. We face a mighty foe this day. The ogre clan's continued existence in this era significantly increases the probability of serious time complications. We must resolve the conflict between the ogres and the three swords and send, send the fortress back to its own time. All that needs to be done is to crush Xenon Ogre and retrieve the Elemental Greatsword. Come on, let's go, Aldo. Altena needs rescuing. On the Siege Tower. Do not let your guard down. Looks like it's finally time to show those wretches the wrath of humanity. Final boss time. Let's prepare. Okay, we're prepared. That shield looks familiar. It looks like a dragon with a sword. We 
your trial away to proceed? Sure. such a puny race. You did well to break our, our seal. So you maggots really want to die that badly, eh? Looks like there's gonna be plenty of fresh feed for us. Gra ha 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 ha. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Hmm. I did not I did not come here to hear the whines of the pitiful, just the annihilation of filth. The time has come to eradicate that filth from this land. Advance! Take the fortress in one fell swoop! Give them no room for maneuver, no mercy. Huzzah! Kill them all. Hmm, water is good against them. Fire is good against them too. But this is okay. So the world turns, much like life. Light probably would have worked too. There's just so many of these guys. Where are they all coming from? Your Majesty, proceed into the fortress. Leave this area to us. I'm counting on you. Out of my way, scum. We're coming too. What do you say? Of course. I have no intention of wasting any more time with these curs. Hold on, Altena. I'll be with you soon. Chapter 40. over there we don't want to mess with. Or over there I should say. And so the world turns. Much like life. Did her steel finish them off? Is she actually getting stronger? I believe it. 500 types of materials. Big reward. And so the world turns, much like life.
a prayers. Not that it'll help you. Knock her. Oh, no, 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 back up. You gonna turn this way? It was never in doubt. Mystery bone. Red ogre. Oh, Fragment of Life. No idea what that is, but it must be good, right? It's not a material. It's not a key item. Green monster. I saw you coming, you know. Amy got another level up. get here but it's gonna be a while before we get all of them so let's just use them up. Speed, intelligence, or luck. Let's go speed and luck. He's a fighter not a thinker. Scary if you clench your fists. Weird how those guys are tiny and we're all zoomed out. Weird if one of their spells makes them get bigger.
Leave no one left alive. Beast bone. Going up. Alright, we're up to like the fourth floor. Sure, last boss wasn't too hard. I think we can handle this. A lot of people with me. Where are we? We appear to be outside the fortress. Nothing but blue sky above. You mean like a fortress garden or something? Don't really see the ogres as a type for nature walks. I doubt it will be anything quite so pleasant. This place reeks of split blood and death. Spilt blood and death. So much blood, so much death. My liege, at last, we've caught up with you. Those darn ogres are putting up a serious fight, huh? Well, what is this vile place? Arg! What was that? Half dead ogres. Welcome to the <clears throat> Welcome to the Ogre Clan's beloved arena of agony. And what will soon be you maggot's graveyard? Ha 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 I thought I recognized that stench. Hell ogre. Death ogre. It's been a while. Hey, Thunder King. How's you? Bean. Aren't you glad for such a great day to die in terrible pain, eh? Nice weather and all. Ha <laughs> ha. Quite a claim. It is you wretches, however, that will not leave this place alive. I will claim my vengeance of Alfaldo here and now. Alfaldo, ha <laughs> ha. That son of yours, was it? He was a righteous, delicious morsel, that one. We had fun and him down right to the last bone, we did. gra ha 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 You! You monsters! Just can't go unpunished. The Thunder King had already lost his son. Bruh! If that measly brat of yours hadn't gotten himself involved in Lord Zenon's girl, she might have been alive now. But we ain't supposed to talk about that, and how she went mad and disappeared, or nothing like that. Is that all you Cretans have to say? You can prattle all you want in the depths of the infernal flame. Thunder King, leave this to us. You go find Zenon. There's no need for you to sully your sword with these guys. We'll make them pay for your son's pain and sadness. But I... Thunder King, I understand your grief, but let us do as Aldo says. You, we cannot know how powerful Zenon has become since acquiring the Elemental Great Sword. For now, let's prepare ourselves for the grueling battle ahead, and not waste energy unduly. Let us also not forget you fight with an ailing body. Hmph. Huh. Thunder King, I beg you, let Aldo and the others handle this. Very well, your reasoning is sound. I leave my son's vengeance in your hands, Aldo. I trust you will see it done. It is decided we will push ahead. Aldo, I doubt I need to say this to you, but be careful. The ogres just stand there while we talk. It's kind of funny. Right. Time to get rid of these two. Hell ogre, death ogre, you're gonna have to deal with me. 
Wretched ogres, no matter who faces my blade, I know no mercy. Make your peace before you die. Insolent little runt. Who do you think you are, eh? I'll skewer all your corpses and roast them whole. Then we'll use your bones as toothpicks and suck that marrow clean out. Grahahaha. We'll make you pay for all the people you've eaten and for the memory of Thunder King's son. Leave no one left alive. See if fire hurts them. Fire does not not hurt them. And darkness hurts them, alright. Stole a prayer script, okay. Death's war cry, underworld's war cry. Um so they're all decreased, but they're also increased. Interesting. Okay, let's do fortune. Boost everybody. Do some pain, do some planet ray. Keep doing prosecution. Alright, you're done. Switch you out for you, and you go up to Edicoli Scythes. You can heal everybody before we go. Well, she's gonna get healed in the background, so we'll just take people. Ha 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 ha, you humans are getting annoying. If you want to die quickly, we can send you to the dirt and darkness. I'll devour you. Our time has come. Ow. Uh, <laughs> I was tired of practicing. Okay, now we heal. And you can do this attack and heal. Oh boy, they're mad. Got one. Elder! You cocky humans, you'll pay for that. Alright, now let's do a single attack here. Got him. And if they come back from the dead so scary. again, if you clench your fists. we have our limit break ready. It looks like we don't need it. Huh. What deluded fools. You ain't nothing but talk. I'm almost disappointed. Ah, those ogres. I hope at least we have eased the spirit of Thunder King's son now. Quite a show indeed to beat down the supposedly undefeatable for fortress guards is no small feat. Xenon Ogre. Maybe. And who would you be? Another pitiful ogre who's come for a quick death? This ogre appears to be of a different ilk to the others. I am Ogre Baron, seventh generation of the noble house House of Ghost, a family of supreme prestige. I see now why Lord Zenin referred to you as a strange gathering, truly a curious flock indeed. And is that it? The innocuous, innocuous bat blade prophesied prophecy to bring an end to the entirety of the ogre clan. I will shatter that blade and perhaps shatter all your bones as well. 
A fitting punishment, no? Do you not just find the excitement of battle after battle irresistible? That constant struggle for life? Mwahahaha! <laughs> it seems that, that not a single ogre in this infested fortress values their pitiful life. Very well. I had no intention of resting until every last ogre was slain anyway. Quaffa! Quite a mouth on this one. But how long before it produces nothing but screams, eh? Now, what, who shall I send to oblivion first? Need I say that begging for your lives is futile? Enough time squandered. Allow me to demonstrate what it means to face a true ogre. Baron, Lord Zenon has summoned you immediately. Darn it, I cannot ignore a summons from Lord Zenon himself. Looks like I will have to postpone your deaths. Do me a favor, will you? Do not try not to get eaten by any of these low lives before then. Puny humans. We'll soon wipe every last one of you from our fortress. So don't get too comfy living here. Like a deep throated hermit. Ogre Baron? Huh? We've seen we secured the ogre's munition zone. This area will serve well as a forward operating base. Fall back here if you get wounded. Now we can go here on the world map. Let's get some food or heal anyway. Looks like we're about a third of the way through the fortress. Holding up alright? Don't overdo it. Rest if you need to. New weapons. Alright, let's see what we got. We got a silver staff, but it's only level 26. We'll just go through it real quick. Aha! Time Restored Lance! Right on. Nobody uses it. And nothing. Oh! Armor Breaker! Nobody uses it. We don't just need swords, right? We need armor too. Silver bracelet. Nope. Grief necklace. That is actually a worse necklace. Nothing useful. Oh, back in the arena. My yield. We are, okay. They won't be go this way. That goes back down. We've been there. Let's keep going. Major trial, bring it. Ogre Baron looks like another real pain in the neck. Seriously? Where do all these guys come from? It matters not how many there are they are. None will stand in my way. Huh? Hmm, what troubles you? Ogre Rancorum's going crazy again. This ancient battlefield, this fortress, the resonation with the ogres. I feel my power welling. Aldo, you have been a fine puppet until now. What now? It's time for the Thunder King to meet his end. 
What? You can't be serious about this again. Our grand scheme, eh, Rancorum? Was this your wicked intention from the get-go? Hmm, does it really matter? I'll do I require your help one last time. Whoa, what's happening? Gah, what are you? Ogre Rancor- Aldo? 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 Am I possessed? Brain activity is showing a rapid change from theta to delta waves, estimating that he has entered into a deep sleep or hypnotic state. I've got a real bad feeling about this. Aldo, can you hear my voice? Why, Aldo? Will you lower your voice, you insufferable, fro insufferable frog? I can hear you just fine. Whoa, his face is changing color. He's definitely possessed. Look at his face now. Look at all these. I have shut out Aldo completely. His body is now mine. Completely. Ooh. His eyes turned red. What? That cannot be. Same color as hers. Aldo, what happened to your face? Snap out of it, Aldo. You mustn't lose sight of yourself. You're gonna get axed, Trog. Your attempts to reach out to Aldo are futile. I control every pore on his body now. Of this body now. I will cut down the Thunder King. However, you need not fret. Zenon will not escape. He will meet the same end. Without the annihilation of the wretched ogres, I would cease to exist. Quit this folly. There is no call for this madness. Madness? The Thunder King is the bane of our existence. He is the reason I was destroyed. You think I can let that go unpunished? If you plan on interfering, I will gladly begin my cleansing with you. Aldo, please stop. Girl, you dare stand in my way? Do you do you so wish our your allies to be bathed in your blood? Ah. Nah, Aldo, you continue to resist. Huh, it matters not. If you value your pitiful lives, You'd be wise not to stand against me. Aldo! At a cursed sword, how imprudent we were to play right into his scheme. Get another pain in the neck! Aldo! Don't worry, Fade. We'll get out of Aldo back somehow. Wait. Now it is. Now is not the time to be panicking. We need to show some positivity. You're right. Thanks, guys. Let's stop dawdling. That Rancorum has cost us precious time already. Aldo has left your party. You will be unable to switch between maps for a while. Good thing he's not my strongest character. 41 is complete. We have visitors. Best damaging person just leveled up our Cyan Scyther. Only 
only got a couple things left. We got speed, spirit, and speed. Speed, luck, spirit, intelligence. I know speed is nice. Let's go here and then we'll go up there. Could go there, but I'm gonna go sneak in see if there's any chests around the corner. Or always is something. Yep. Kill them all. Show me where I may kill again. Mystery bone. There's one more area I've never been. Fighting brings nothing but sorrow. And so the world turns, much like life. Sure enough. Carnivore Beast Fang, two of them. Never gotten one of those. Leave no one left alive. It was never in doubt. Alright, level up for you. Black clad swordsman. Hmm. We have two, so that means. We go a bunch of little ones or big ones over here. Let's go this way. So we got intelligence, spirit, luck. Going up. Up the tree. That's the up. Do we want to go mess around over here? I think we should. Ooh, three at once. More rewards to be gotten. We have visitors. area was like the kitty area.
This area is for ogres. Okay, so they want me to go that way. I'm gonna go back. I forgot this one little spot. Kill them all. Hey! It was never in doubt. Mystery bone is probably all there is. Another test. Over stone lamps, three of them. But that's for upgrading weapons. Just guess. Open air gallery. So we're way up. All this stuff is way up here. That's good. Completely lost the plot. What is this madness? The time has come for you to fall silent, foolish King of Thunder. You who seek to extinguish ogre kind are instead to be struck down by me, manifestation of their undying hatred. I shall have my vengeance. You've allowed the sword to take control of you, Aldo. It pains me to see you at the bidding of such a fiend. Don't yield to it. Lower that blade if you will, Aldo. I came here for a sole purpose, to exterminate ogre kind. No one will be permitted to interfere with that objective if I must strike you down. I will. Wait! Aldo's friends, what timing? Leave it to us to bring him back to your, his senses, your majesties. We will do something. Be good sports and go on ahead, majesties. We are more than capable of giving Aldo a good licking. Yes, we'll leave that to you. My lord, it fails to you to, it falls to you to stop sinning. I beg that you see it done. Sort out Aldo for us, Annabelle. We'll regroup later. If you hope to witness the fall of Zenin, I suggest you hurry. Moving out. You intend to flee, Thunder King. Coward. Your fight is with us, Rancorum. I've given you sufficient warning. What becomes of you now concerns me not. Please, let me have my brother back. What interest would I have in doing that? This body promises to serve my ends most dutifully. If I return to my sheath, this rare chance to taste vengeance will be lost. Perhaps a generous serving of punishment will satisfy your appetite instead. Ready yourself, Rancorum. 
We're going to forcibly loosen your grip, uh, grip on our friend. If the boy is dear to you, come and reclaim him then, you brightly colored mob of imbeciles. The ends of those who consort with demon swords are bloody without exception. Allow me to show you. Steel. Oops. It's firework. Fireworks, yep. Start with that. Light tickle. Sickle. <laughs> Alright, we've got darkness, so I probably can't see very well. I'll try to purify after this. So like it doesn't matter if I'm blinded, I still hit him hard. That doesn't even hurt. Okay, that hurt a little. Pull your together. Hey, I stole Murmur script. I stole my own Murmur script. That means you're basically done. I'll use Purify to fix some of you blind people. And you can just heal. I think we're good. You dropped your guard. <clears throat> Here comes Xenon Ogre, probably who's next. Or they'll just keep building up to me. This confrontation has proven it. Your strength clearly does not stand up to ours. Release your control of Aldo. Lest you wish for legends to speak of Ogre and Crumb's unfaltering foolishness, I suggest you choose this moment to retreat. Give it up, Rancorum. You had your chance and you blew it. It angers me to release my hold on the boy, but with his will squirming so defiantly, now I'm, I have little choice. How lamentable. I wonder if it's going to turn out that that really was the end of the Thunder Team. It's like, whoops. Oh, Aldo! Aldo, are you hurt? Pull yourself together, Aldo. This is no time to be taking a nap. <sighs> you okay then, Aldo? Well, I felt better. I got a couple of cuts and bruises, nothing major. But still, those are some pretty powerful blows. Do some of you hold a grudge against me? We had no choice. Ogre and Karma is hell bent on getting revenge on someone or other. Not listening to reason. Indeed. You were flailing about like a mad frog after a fly blathering some indeterminable cod swallop about vengeance. You could have eased up a bit. Would you have done if you what did you have done if you put me out of action? If you or any members of your group should happen to collapse, be safe in the knowledge that I will be on hand to revive you with some built in resuscitative equipment. I appreciate the thought, Rika, but I'd like to avoid that kind of thing happening if possible. We got split up, but thankfully no one was harmed. Imagine if I'd struck someone down. I could hardly excuse myself by saying my demonic sword had possessed me. I need to be stopped. If you showed no hesitation, Gilna, I appreciate that. You look really scary with those red eyes, Aldo. Like some kind of demon. Your eyes look like mine. You got off lightly. Most of our enemies don't end up in one piece. And if you have... And I have no need for your gratitude. I offer it to you anyway. I don't know what I'd do without you at my back. And as for this thing at my side, it is no good to me to have a sword 
with a will that conflicts with my own. Perhaps I'd best be done with it. As you wish. If you apologize and promise to make amends in battle, I will keep you in my possession. I have no interest in your proposal. I see, in that case, to the ocean's depths with you. Prepare to meet the fishes. Oh no, that would inconceivably... That would inconvenience me immensely. Consider me at your command once more. It sounds like you've learned your lesson. I'm concerned about the others who've gone ahead. There's a risk they'll be ambushed or outnumbered. Let's get moving. On you va. Don't concern yourself for our king. His majesty is a fine warrior, and our troops will defend him with all their will. With their own. That may be so, but all the same, let's hurry on. Aldo, return to your party. Please recheck your equipment. Recheck my equipment. Oh, his equipment's un. He's got no equipment. I'll be back in one minute. I'll put on a uh, cat video as well while we're waiting, I guess. Okay, we're back. 
How much Kirby make Kermit Kermit makes you have to drink more water. <laughs> Hmm, what's this? Gah, a trap! They were trapped in there. There's no way we're getting this up. It's far too heavy. From the looks of things, it's sealed with ogreish magic. Well, that certainly throws a spanner in the works. Whatever are we to do? Rancorum, the path to Zenon lies beyond this gate, doesn't it? Ahead of us is what Zenon has presumptuously dubbed Dominion Spire. The throne sits at the peak. And this gate, how do we get it up? No less than an ogreish mage of the highest order would be able to release this seal. Or put a cat through the little gate thing. Don't give me the trivia, give me a name. An old friend of yours, the Baron. Yes, that would make sense. This is likely his doing. That spell activated a response to our arrival. He must have plans for us. It's likely we've been cut off from the main force. The longer we stay apart, the greater the, their peril grows. And ours too, for that matter. We can't have that now, can we? Enough chit chat, let's go catch us a baron. Great. Just who I wanted to see again. Anyway. He could be anywhere around here, so let's get him to open this. It won't budge. You finally made it to the Dominion Spire. You've got a minute for a breather, no more. That gate might not be the only trap Baron had prepared. We've got to stay alert. Gate is shut, you cannot pass. Fighting brings nothing but sorrow. down. Show me where I may kill again. Alright, Amy, level up. I think I'm not going to use her level ups because if I can upgrade her, she can get a lot more with her up, up in the 5 star zone. I'll wait. I'll save up for some psalms. Maybe I'll play some. Another dungeons offline or something. Whoop. I 
close this gate, maybe open the other one. Let's drop out see if we can connect to the gate upstairs. Now what was this gate behind it? Maybe I should go through it first. I checked to see if there's something. Okay, now we'll go upstairs and try to have gate. I saw you coming, you know. Eh, not even worth mentioning. Not a chest, this is kind of creepy. Is that a coffin? There's a chest. Even ogres need to sleep. Fighting brings nothing but sorrow. Show me where I may kill again. Probably the right way. I'm gonna look around here real quick. We have visitors. Take this. Ha! Is that all you've got? I'll expose their sins. These ones are not directly on top of each other, so I don't know if the other gate can be adjust that one or not. I think we're all set. I'll check over to the right down it too. Mention it. All right, blokes, time for some good fun. Take eh, not even worth mentioning. was never in doubt. Okay, I'll go down.
kill them all. This one probably controls the one right up upstairs. Oh, we should go through it first, grab the chest, and then come back and flip it and then go upstairs. Suggest. Flip this one and the one upstairs will work. Leave no one left alive. And so the world turns, much like life. Flip this one, or I can go around. I'm gonna flip this one anyway. I'm done with that area. Yeah, that's gonna flip this one area. Which is now open, and there's no more gate. That was that one downstairs. I'll expose their sins. <laughs> And now we go back down, up, down, up, down. And we're finally here. I'll expose their sins. We'll go with some more pots to break. <laughs> Fighting brings nothing but sorrow. Take this. It was never in doubt. All right, final room. Major trial awaits you. No, because I want your cup. Oh, we're all full. That's awful. Not fair. This seems to be the sort of place a high ranking ogre might call home. Infidel defilers. You find yourselves in the private chamber of the esteemed seventh baron, Haushagost. Ah, just the ogre we were looking for. You are pleased to see me. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you again, too. How do you like my place? You shut that gate in order to stop us reaching Zenon. In any case, we'll now have you reopen it. 
Leading you here was not merely for the protection of Zenon. First and foremost, I seek to silence the Gyre melody. If the two Palsivals and Rancorum were to be reunited, and the melody struck up, we ogres would face a grave threat. The three swords coexistence defiles all logic. It is nothing short of miraculous. But this equilibrium can only last so long. At the moment the victor is decided, so too will the sword's fates be. What do you have to say, Rancorum? This interests you too, does it not? The hatred that seethes through my steel will not fade without first seeking realization. My survival is exonerable. You think that the Thunder King will just triumph over Zenon? Just as history foretells? Pathetic. Laughable. Thanks to you, Zenon now has the ultimate sword. Whereas the Thunder King is robbed of his full force by the death cursed upon him. The Thunder King weakened? We've seen no sign of that. A death curse? He never mentioned that. Your ignorance is almost endearing, for it has led you to this unwinnable battle, and your demises which I shall relish. The Thunder King, however, knowing his own state and yet to come here and challenge, what selfish devotion to vengeance. Naturally, he values his waning life little. But now you can you see he cares nothing for the lives of his comrades either. We have no reason to take someone like you at your word. Ah, it has it escaped me. The noses of humans are mostly decorative. They may be chewy and tasty, but serve little use to their owners. Which is just as well. You're spared quite a stench in the case of the Thunder King, for his organs are crippled and withered, his blood spoiled and festering, and his flesh rots and molders. That's true. How terrible. In fact, it may not even be necessary to wield the Elemental's great sword full might to swat away those puny kings. Perhaps it shall be reserved for you. You who are, in truth, the only serious remaining threat to our victory. How could the Thunder King be so reckless? Raise the gate at once, if you value your life, Baron. We have that power, don't you? We'd be wise to leapfrog with a small fry and go straight for the prize. You think I'll actually raise the gate? What a quaint bunch you are. The fortress of the ferocious Ogre Clan really is no place for you, but there's only one way out for you now. Death. This place won't be your fortress when we're done with it. The Count of the Ogre Dead mounts as we speak. If you don't want to join them, do as we say and open the gate. Say your prayers! Not that it'll help you! Marvelous flame. Now I'm blind again. Not that it'll hurt me. Let's try water. Does that help? Ha ha ha! This is my heartfelt gift for you. A full power bomb. If you don't get rid of it soon, you'll be in for the world of pain. Do not say I didn't warn you. Hmm, the steel worked. Oh, it went off. Yeah, <laughs> how delightful. Wasn't it such a brilliant deception? Just a single touch and you'd explode. Did I get anything when I'm stealing? I don't remember. Hi. Hi. 
Stole the prayer script, alright. And somehow I'm still alive. Well then, I'll just pick myself up and present you with another gift. If you don't get rid of it soon, you'll be in a world of pain. Do not say I didn't warn you. You're gonna be gone quick too. You're gonna be gone quicker than it will. Told you. Stop there, yes I see. So this is a strength that led you here. I am beaten, utterly beaten. I surrender. I may be one of the Ogre Kind's finest mages, but you, you really are something else. I am forced to reconsider my allegiances. What do you say? I will ally with you. I'll open the gate of your, of course, as you wish. I'm in no hurry to meet death, even less so if it means being sucked into Ogre Rancorum, should Zenin fall. We're going to the gate right now. First you raise it, and we'll see after that. Yes, yes, very well. But I will not join you in the fight against Zenin. There is no question of that. That said, I will pray for your success. Serving under that fiend has been unpleasant, to say the least. Back to the gate then, quickly. With a fortress full of ogres to contend with, there's a real risk our comrades might have landed in a spot to bother. Out of the way! Get out of the way! We're not here for you, grunts! Looking for your king? Zenon take you out with a flick of his finger, mate. Or did you come here to become ogre food? If your boy Baron had his way, your mates would be trapped and ready for the taking. Put your squealing and join him. If our stomachs, that is. Haha. <laughs> Lots of room for you in there. Grr, reg. You ogres were never a match for the Thunder Army. This reversal of fortunes will last but an instant. I will lead the charge. Perf. Lord, you're wounded. What caused this? Leave me. It's an old wound. Nothing to worry about. Attend to yourself. You cannot fight in this condition. I will be the judge of that. This fight will be my last, that much is clear, but in accepting death I am granted a determination that doubles my strength. Do you really think I will fall to the likes of these? Watch me. Hmm. Very good. I will be at your side. May the twin blades of Pulsifal lead once to a future free from this from the ogre menace menace. Come now, ogres. Come and face me. Die in your dismal droves. Looks like the fight's not going well. Finished 43. Probably looking for that game. Oh, wait, up here. Not so much this way. Resonance box. Hmm. What's that for? Um. Hmm. I'm in Baron's room. Let's see what the map says.
Ruler's Tower, that's where we want to go. Oh, this is where we stopped and saw all these people. But this gate was closed. Maybe he's gonna open it now in a glorious vi video or something. Yep, a scene, of course. Okay, Baron, you know what to do now. Fine, fine, I know. Raise the gate. The gate of the dream, Dominion Spire. I just pray it doesn't become your grave. Open. And with that, I take my leave of this place. Farewell. Just try not to get eaten on along the way. Eaten in? Eaten in. Hey, Baron. Wait. Let him be, Aldo. We should concern ourselves with the well-being of Thunder King and the others. If the Baron's tale was indeed true. You're right, let's get moving. We're getting closer to Zenon. Keep your guard up, everyone. We're coming for you, Altina. Show me where I may kill again. Go up here. Or I can go back. Let me go back and double check the left is not in So the world turns. Alright, Amy's leveled up Much again. Like We're life. saving her level. Can you shut? You cannot go this way. Leave no one left alive. What well, why did it say that? It was never in doubt. Purple ogre. That might be a first of that kind of color. Show me where I may kill again. Ogre hide and cleaver, those are new. Guess it wasn't a first, you would have told me if it was. We have visitors. Everything is for the divine. Level up for my top character. I don't think there's any more on the abilities. Except for the skill up. But I have to do her quest to do that. Same with those. Yeah, I'll check one more before I take a 
those top left stairs. Maybe a tiny little oh, We have here. visitors. Nothing but sorrow. This is probably that one that we saw upstairs. Yeah, this is the one upstairs that was had no key. I guess it maybe was downstairs on the direction of the gate. Everything is for the divine. Still need to go to the upper left. I'm gonna go back up and... Oh, it was down. Okay. That makes more sense. Downstairs, and then the gate in the lower left is now open. Yep, it's right there. And so the world turns. Much like life. Alright kid, what do we want? We said this way. I hit that. I don't need that anymore. It was never in doubt. Aha, okay, so that was that gate that was up there. I need to go fix that gate and then I'll fix this gate. It's like a crisscross. We have visitors. That was what I was thinking. Really. I was supposed to be, but I wasn't sure. Oh, the trial is over. You're just hoping you get confused while you're fighting and you forget how to solve these puzzles. Leave no one left alive. It was never in doubt.
probably skipped an area. Didn't finish that one area. There's one area we missed up there, top left. If we come back and do that one last. Never in doubt. We have visitors. Die. And so the world turns, much like life. Nothing but sorrow. Oh, we forgot to fix this gate, I think. It was I never in doubt. Out. Maybe every gate you go through, you gotta fix it. Okay, so I didn't get every single little thing, but that's okay. None of them were that important. We have visitors. so that we can go back there. Visitors. <laughs> well, don't tell me this just goes to the boss. Everything is for the divine. So scary if you clench your fists. There's nothing here. Fighting that thing. I'm sure it's a good strong thing to fight from out Fighting brings nothing but sorrow. Not 
Fighting brings nothing but sorrow. Major trial awaits. And the very top. Look at Xenon Ogre finally. He's gonna run away again, probably. So, humans, you came. And I disagree. We finally cornered you, Zenon. Now it's time to end this. Well, I commend you for making it this far. Zenon. This day will be the Ogre Clan's last. Steal yourself for death. Insolent fools, do not make me laugh. This place will be your grave. Come, Thunder King, let us at last decide which will be triumphant, ogres or humans. Exactly why I slew so many of your ogres to get here. I will show no mercy. He does not fight alone, Zenin. It matters little to me. The taste the power of the elemental greatsword. Grah! Zenon King, you... Yeah. Such a sad sight to behold. Was that the last of your strength? Mwahahaha, <laughs> the Holy Blade of Palsvo is nothing more than spent steel now. How dare! Silence, you walking corpse! Grah! Yeah. Thunder King! Zenon, you despicable. How dare you mock the valiant struggle of we humans. Take this. Gah! Bah -ha -ha -ha. You humans truly are pathetic existence. It is almost pitiable. Thunder King, that curse laid upon you has sapped all but your last remaining power. You might have spent your final moments in peace. Yet you persist with this folly. Allow me to grant you a death worthy of one tenacious enough to go against my will. Ugh. This light? The two regal swords weep for their soon to perish masters. It would appear the hour if to finally end this has arrived. Your mere our mere presence in this era has signaled the rewriting of history. Now, in this moment, I feel the change of winds in my bones as the Ogre Clan lives on. Triumphant. <laughs> it is time to weave a new dream upon this planet. I would not be so sure. You! Aldo, you made it! A sight for sore eyes. Hope we aren't too late. The Knights of Neglids, while a little late, are also here and at your service. Leaveless to us, you two get back to safety. My thanks, do not let your guard down. Zenon, we're here to put a stop to this. We won't let you change history. Listen to the Geyer Melody, an orchestration of we three blades of resonance, harmony. Wretched Ogre, I will tear that elemental sword from your cold claw and get Altena back. I know. Hang in there, Altena. We're coming to save you. In the black sky, stars. In the green earth, flowers caressing my blade, two drops of mercy. There's no place in this time for you. Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you that with my fists. It is imperative that the distortion in space-time is dispersed. Let's end this sooner than later. We don't have all day, you know. Shh. 
So it finally begins. What will the day favor, I wonder? Lord Zenon or Ogre Rancorum? Whichever way fate swings, this fortress seems destined to return to its original time. Rancorum, if it is indeed true that you are the remnants of ogre kind, why do you so insist on battling us? Do you not hear it, Zenon? The Holy Blade song, it calls to me. It tells me to guide the ogre clan to your fate, to their fate. Leave not one alive, complete and utter annihilation. Grey, you have your reasons as much as I have mine. Very well, humans. Rancorum, show me your metal. Let me show you just how utterly powerless you all are. I will cherish your whales as you are destroyed. Hear me, you, hear me, spirits of the four great elementals. Surrender your powers to me. Some absorbs, so it all varies. Some, some are good, some are not. So I'll just use this anyway. Even absorbs, so. Crazy stuff happening. Always gets blind. Blind in Got one. And the big guy is almost down. Stole a medium class scroll. Slight pain, okay. Just keep doing the power hit. Yes! Grah, despicable blade! How long must you insist on resisting the inevitable? Fool, my existence relies on the complete destruction of the Ogre Clan. Do you not remember my words? No life be sacred to this blade in search of subsistence. Be that even the blood of mine own kin, it matters not. Accept your inevitable fate and die, or, and die knowing your death is in a righteous cause. Great, placeless arrogance. Since you must be so persistent, I have no choice. I'll disappear and you'll fight me later. As usual. Always does it. Well, what? What is it? Oh. He disappeared already. Oh, kind of person. He flying away? Zen and Ogre? Think yourselves fortuitous, for few have witnessed the glory of my true power. Now spend the rest of eternity in the scolding flames of remorse. Okay everyone, get ready. We can take down Zen and together. Let's end this fight once and for all. Fire spirit is resonating. Water is resonating in him. Wind is resonating in him. Okay, X steel is resist, but I'm not planning on hurting him anyway. Everything is resisting. Restore does not. Let's do the Oh, Planet Ray does not, so let's do Lunatic and Planet Ray. That might be our key. Yeah, she's not very strong. Hmm. Planet Ray will hurt. Oh, 
another fragment of life. And the weapons are gone. I like what I see here. And you need to... Help the crit. Are you so eager to die? Fine. If that's how you like it, I will send you to the end. His arm regrows. Well, I'd be a pretty quick last time. Not too worried about that. Fair trial. No, might as well. Got plenty of magic. His ultra defense is not there anymore. He can hit him hard enough. Zenon, you are defeated. Yield now. The Thunder Lion soldiers and Miglins' Knigets will have all but wiped out your army by now. Insolent Cretans. Grr! Not yet. I am not yet defeated. The mighty Ogre Clan will never fall to the likes of pathetic humans. Whoa! Ah. Arrgh! Erg. Thunder King, I see your lifeblood spilled, even if it must shed my own. Witness the full might of the Elemental Greatsword. Rah! I don't think so. Ugh. Can you hear me, Altena? You just wait, I'll save you. Just one last push. Stop your pathetic struggles. This is truly the behavior of the King of Ogres. Accept defeat graciously and relinquish your sword. Grr, more impotence. Sing while you still can, Rancorum. Huh, <laughs> how can you even expect me to resist- expect to resist me with such feeble, insignificant bodies? Against the elemental greatsword, bequeathed with its star's own power. Grr. Xenon. Grr. Thunder King, what now? It is as you say, the power of my body is all but depleted, almost, but not completely. I still have enough strength left to destroy you once and for all. You have taken much from me, things I hold dear, my people, my friends, my son. However, no longer shall you take that which is not yours. Aldo, Gildna, you have my eternal gratitude. Thanks for your labors. It seems you have finally fulfilled my- I may finally fulfill my duty. Zen and behold, proof of that I live still. All right. Arr! Yay! You, you insolent Thunder King, wretched human filth! No, no! Gather, come hither, Fred brethren, relinquish it. To me, the pain, agony, and hatred you suffer here. Whoa, what's that black cloud? Is that the spirits of the dead ogres? They're being sucked into the sword. Allow it. In exchange for your subsistence, no life is sacred. Shred and rip all shall perish. Do not think us done. We ogres are eternal. We will thrive on the back of retribution until all life is spent. No good will come of this. <laughs> the Thunder King's sword? What happened to him? 
Ogre Rancorum, another one. Curses, I didn't actually believe Zard Zenin would fall to the humans. How could it be? That thing, that thing is not just Lord Zenin's, but all of Ogrekind's animosity and hatred sealed within it. The end of Lord Zenin's reign. I cannot linger here any longer. Time to take my leave. The Holy Blade of Palsifal. Now the Cursed Blade, Ogre Rancorum. Exactly as the people of this time have long held. And yet the holy blade that I bear is not changed in the slightest. And the ancient holy blade becomes the cursed blade. Then wouldn't the same blade that I hold also change? Is the sword that I hold in my hand that has passed through the family of generations not Palsifal's? King Miglin, that blade you hold is none other than Palsifal's holy blade, make no mistake. However, while it is in the genuine holy blade, while it is the genuine holy blade of Palsifal, it is not the one that you have held up until this day. I, I do not follow. What do you mean? Do you still remain unaware? Held in your hand now as the Holy Blade brought to the present by the Drag Thunder King. What? How is that possible? The Holy Blade driven through Zenin's chest is the very same sword that Miglins will one day come to possess. Do you mean to say that King Miglins and the Thunder King's swords have been switched? It all makes sense. Even if the Holy Blade of this era were to become cursed, it would have no effect on the one from 3,000 years ago. But when they would, but when would they got switched, switched around? There are still so many questions, yet Rancorum p passing through to the present is still a truth. Thusly, I should bring this blade back with me to my own time. Together with my blade, the sword which will pass down eventually into King Miglitz's hands. And with that, history remains unchanged. What was one blade can now exist without conflict as both holy and cursed. Indeed, that cursed blade may lie dormant, but will inevitably awaken as Ogre Rancorum. And one over that span of many millennia will once again reach the village of Baroque. Thunder King, I believe this is yours too. What's happening to the fortress? Registering a dissipation in the resonance of the Xenon Ogre and the Holy and Cursed Blade, a fracture in space-time is starting to close at an increasing rate. This fortress is returning to its original time. <clears throat> I think we should leave sooner than, than later, none. Agreed, let us leave. Gather the injured and help us get the people out of this place. They all have somebody waiting for them back home. We cannot leave even one soul here. Understood. What are you waiting for? Move, now! Okay, everybody. Calm, everybody. Time to go home. Check the condition of our troops, save any injured, and bring them to safety. Right away. Aldo, we gotta get out of here too. I am in debt to you all. Be wary on your way. It is still dangerous. Okay, your majesty. I've gotta go now. Be careful on your way back. It's just farewell from me. Altena. Let us go home, Altena. I'll get you back to normal soon enough. King Miglins, Aldo, I am eternally grateful for your actions. Thunder King, remain vigilant until the last, and be sure to take care of yourself. I pray that you may find a way to unbind yourself from that dastardly curse upon you. And yourself, stay tenacious and just. Farewell, King of Miglins. Thunder King, Aldo, it's been my utmost honor meeting you and your band in this era, so far from my own. 
Now go, Aldo. Farewell, I wish you a long and prosperous life. Alfaldo, at long last it is done. Zenon has been vanquished. With that my final duty as king is concluded. Now sing, let me hear your song, Holy Blade of Palsifal. Stars above, hark, the song of our prayer. Kingdom is sore. Looks like Ogre Spike is going back to its own time 3,000 years ago. The Thunder King and all his troops are going too. Now to break apart the elemental arms and return them to their separate forms. Hear my voice, Altena. Come back to us. Altena? There's no need for concern, she's merely unconscious. Phew! Then let us hasten back to the capital. We'll leave as soon as the wounded have been tended to. Aldo, might I suggest you and your group rest up for the time being as well? It has been another long adventure. Okay, let's head back to Union, together with everyone who fought. I'm just so glad as you're as lively as ever you were. Really, Altena? It is so great to have you back. Thanks, Fane. Thank you. All of you. I'd still be trapped if it wasn't for you all. Although I don't remember anything from where I was surrounded in light until... up until when you guys rescued me. Well, everything's back to normal now. That's good enough for me. Yet there's still one thing I still fully don't... Don't not fully understood from the whole episode, and at just what point was it that Thunder King and King Smiglin's blades were swapped over? Yeah, now that you mention it, Altena. So this is where you were. I'm so glad that you got back safely. Just knowing you are safe again. Oh, do forgive me. I am just getting quite emotional. Oh, Varys, you're here too, are you? Actually, I was kind of thinking, who was it that suggested sharpening the Holy Blades? Ah, yes, that mysterious elderly gentleman you met previously. He came to me with the idea. He did not seem a bad sword. After all, he returned the swords and in pristine condition. Now you mention it, he gave all the swords back directly to the kings himself as well. Uh, you don't think he swapped them, do you? But why would he? Does it really matter? Everything has been restored to normal, and there's no use worrying over the details now. We should all take a page from the Master Gildner's book and just keep everything in our stride. It hasn't bothered me in the slightest. Who exchanged what and where? What I am more concerned with is you, Rancorum. You said the Sword of the King would become cursed, did you not? However, at that time, you did not specify which sword exactly. It wouldn't be that you were wise to the whole matter from the start, would it? Is that right? And if it were to be true... Hmm, that's just a hunch, but I reckon I've grasped your intentions. If the Holy Blades weren't swapped, the Holy Blade of the Thunder King becoming cursed in his time would mean that the Holy Blade held by Miglins would not, now would cease to exist. If you did not speak out about this, your history would have been rewritten right before your eyes. That was your scheme, was it not? All you had to do was feign ignorance. Hmm. First that devious old meddler. 
If that wretch had not tampered with the course of what was supposed to be, I would have awoken to a world free of that holy blade. Well, I, that's quite a chilling tale. So the gallery master switched the swords to stop that from happening? Even if he did, how could he have known that history would change if he didn't? My head's starting to hurt, think, start hurting if I think any more about this. I can't help wondering who that grandpa was. It's insignificant right now, Vares. You cur, uh, you had just as much a hand in this. I will have my vengeance. That is uncalled for. I was just doing what I was told. I wouldn't concern yourself, Vares. As the blade said to itself, it will gladly end all life in order to continue its existence. A small grudge against you will not make much difference in the grand scheme of things. What's more, the resonance between it and the Ogre Clan has subsided. I imagine it'll behave for the time being. Let's hope so. I get the feeling that he is the reason that I keep getting involved over even ever weirder fights. Hmm. Perhaps it is time that I slept for a while. But know this, that slumber will not be for long. She will return soon. And if I am to destroy the Goddess of Time, Aldo, you are necessary for my machinations. Goddess of Time? What are you talking about now? You will understand soon enough, once the time is upon us. King Miglins, is something bothering you? Hmm? Oh no, nothing to fret about, Aldo. I was just pondering something is all. Is it about the Thunder King by any chance? I really hope he finds a way to get rid of that curse too, am I right? Yes, it plagues my thoughts. Yet, I know he is still fighting valiantly in his own time. Yeah, knowing him, the Thunder King will still be going strong. Oh, and your majesty, without losing your sword, the holy blade... Ah yes, my sword, what about it? The sword, Ogre and Corum, would you er, mind if I held on to it for a bit? Mind? Although that sword has been and always will be yours. It has chosen you as its master. There is nothing I can say or do to change that fact. I guess you're right, but knowing that this is a royal Miglin's heirloom, I really don't think that I... Ah, you need not worry yourself with such things. But of course, if it is such a great concern to you, I can officially grant it to you. Would that put you at ease? Yes, thanks, your majesty. In that case, I gladly accept your offer. I will look after this sword until the curse is lifted and Rancor is changed back to the Holy Blade. Excellent. Then I shall leave the Holy Blade, heirloom of the Miglins family, in your capable hands, Aldo. You remember, Fiona? The day we stood under this tree, made promises about our future, and told each other our tales of our dreams? Along with this magnificent tree, I will hold my soul for a while longer, to bear over the ebbing of time. There is one in the far distant future that I wish to look over before you are we are unified once more. You will forgive me for this delay, will you not, Fiona, Alfaldo? Besides, what are mere millennia to those who, for whom eternity beckons?
my people for killed them. Got a sword, another sword, another lance, axe, wakey wakey big bro Aldo, wake up Aldo, mm, what, come on Aldo it's morning, get up already. <sighs> I guess you're right, morning Fane. Don't you mourn in me. Sun has already passed its lateral alignment with the peccary trees. What? Rika, where's Fane? I synthesized recordings of Miss Fane's voice for the database. I thought it would allow you to rise from your sleep cycle in the most pleasant, optimal way possible. Hmm, synthesized voicey, what now? But right, thanks, you're thinking of me. Analysis tells me that there is no time like the present, so let us seize the day. Is also advised caution you foresee possible napping. I have no snooze functions currently installed. Eh, what function? Well, whatever. It's time to start a new day, another adventure. Alright, here we go. 44 is complete. This is the part where I say gotta go. So, uh,. Thanks for joining us. We'll continue next time. Adventure. We'll see where we go. Have a good one.